Well, there's a little loading screen at the beginning after you get past the main menu is new, I see. And I was setting up the recording, so I didn't hear when, you know, I first load up the game. I don't know if the thing still says that, dead by daylight, announcement or whatever. I'll have to check when I, when I load back up the game. But anyway, hello everyone, I'm so terrific, and welcome back to the Dead by Daylight video. Today we're playing on the new 5.1.0 mid-chapter patch. And I don't really know much about this update other than the fact that they uh, reworked some of how the survivors looked and they did like a whole, I don't know, quote unquote buff to Trickster. I don't really pay attention to Dead by Daylight news all like that because I've been focusing on other stuff and like quite busy, you know, my job and other stuff like college and whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to check it out and see how everything is. So we're just gonna go through here together. There's the new Dwight, as you can see, it's something. I like the new Meg rework, but now that I'm taking like a closer look, it's kind of looking a bit off. Maybe I have to play with some time, but I've been seeing videos like 3D renders and whatever, and they're cool. But now I see it in the game, it's kind of, ew. Claudette. I'm looking at her legs, kind of look like she's made out of like plastic. But yeah. I like the little, her little uh, mannerism she does. Hold on, let me see if I can remove the item. The things that she does with her arm. I like how they added that. There we go, yeah. I like this little change that they did for her. We have Jake. I mean, I can't remember the last time I even played as Jake other than having to do him for a ritual. But he looks like something. We have Nia. And I can't, <laughs> I joked about this on when they dropped the whole trailer for this. It's like, it, it's funny how they had a whole graphical update, but Nia still looks ugly. I don't know if it, it's me or does it look like the textures haven't loaded in yet? Because these guys just look smooth baby face. Like, they look like they're made out of plastic. It's throwing me off. Yeah, Bill, which uh, I don't even know if they did anything for him. Lori, I know she got a change. So, Lori Classic, instead of just Lori. The uh, hair is nice, I guess. I don't know, I think I prefer the old hair better. We have the short version, and the prestige. We have Ace. This is a regular Ace. He looks cool. I think out of all the survivors that I see from that video, that one video where they did like 3D renders or whatever, I think Ace is probably like the best looking survivor from this graphical rework. We have Fang. Alright, I guess. I'm sorry, he's like... The way how they look, it looks so smooth is still throwing me off. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get used to that, but now we have David. David King. He's also pretty cool. I like the way he looks. We have Quentin, who was long overdue for a fit graphical rework. Of course he looks better. Maybe this will actually encourage me to play Quentin more. I like actually like Quentin. I have to go in game. Maybe I'll should play him today. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Detective Tap. I don't know if they changed him, but I mean, he looks cool. We have Kate. I like the new look and the old look better. I like the look of the hair of the, the new graphical thing, but I, I like her old look as well. You have Adam here. He is alright. I really wish I had like, I don't know, like pictures to compare the old and new ones. I don't even know if I'm going to edit into the video because it's going to be a lot of work and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do all that. But he looks solid. We have Jeff. He's cool. I don't know what that, I don't know if it's the lighting, but you see all those like blue stuff on his hair. Kind of weird. Oh wait, no, it's right here on the thing too. I don't think he had like these blue highlights before. I think it was just all black. I don't know, maybe because of the graphical update, just I don't know, highlighted anymore. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Just move on to the next person. Jane Romero, them eyes. That's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> I don't know why she looks like that, but uh, uh, no comment. Ashley J. Williams. I forgot about his voice a lot. I haven't played him in so long. Uh, he looks cool. We have Nancy. I don't know if they changed anything. I don't even know if they changed anything about the licensed characters other than Lori, but she looks like Nancy. Steve. He's alright. Yui. She's cool. I like it. Zarina Cassier. Probably gonna take this cosmetic off because some headphones are getting in the way. Uh yeah, I like the look of it. It's alright. Cheryl Mason. She looks alright. Felix. Um, I don't even know if there was a change. This dude still looking sharp as ever. Elodie, my main girl. Looking beautiful as ever. And I think that's the last of them, right? Oh no, I forgot Yun Jin. How can I forget from the most anticipated chapter of 2021 probably? Or was it the Resident Evil chapter? Who knows? But I uh, she looks alright. Don't really care about her. Jill? Uh, I see some people were talking about how her cheeks were kind of infl look inflated, like she's, I don't know, looking like doing like a little puffing thing with her cheeks. Uh, 
I can, I can kind of see it, but I don't play Jill enough to notice these little things. Like, I didn't notice about it until I seen someone actually point it out. I think someone made a whole video on it. And last we have Leon, which he looks alright. He looks alright. But yep, that's all for today. Now that I should follow the new stuff. Oh wait, did they even do anything for the killers? I don't think so, because it was just for survivors. Eh, the video is already getting long enough. I'll probably point it out in the next video. Or probably do it at the end. But, I decided what stuff I want to play today is Quentin, because I haven't played him in a long time. I don't know what perks I have for him, but we're just going to hurry up and get into a match. And yeah, I'll see you in the first game. Oh, brother. Of course. First game of the day, and we get one of the most... Well, in my opinion, the most boring maps ever. Even though it's completely survivor side, and oh my gosh, I forgot I'm like burst. Whoa, that crow just moved? And in this, the best killer in the game, everybody. And he got buffed too, so I'm expecting to see mo a bit more of him. Man, I really do not like this killer. Oh my gosh, I gotta turn down my headset volume because it's kind of loud. Ooh, this man's about to get bloodlust real quick. Let's see how... You know, I could have thrown down that power there and get a stun. How long is this going to go on for? Does he even look like he's catching up? Throw down now. Alright, we're gonna keep looping around here. How long is this gonna go on for? Plus their best, ladies and gentlemen, because this is peak Dead by Daylight gameplay. Best killer in the game, most entertaining killer, not boring whatsoever. Okay, glad that didn't. Okay, there we go. Kick that. Let's hop down here. Now would be the perfect time to start throwing stuff. Or maybe. Ah, uh, I didn't think he was gonna get that close. And he has that one perk from when the survivor's vault, but the, the vault gets blocked. Okay. Well, we got away. And all my teammates over here. I'm kind of leading him over here to them, which is my fault. Oh my gosh, I got stuck on that. Okay. Oh, don't hit me. Okay, we got lucky there. Break up a wall! Oh my gosh! You know, I pointed this out in the uh, other Dead by Daylight video. But seriously, breakable walls, they sounded so good on paper. And what are you aiming at? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, sorry about that, that threw me off. Breakable walls sounded so, so good on paper, but now that's actually in the game, it's more of a detriment than actually good. For killer, it's just more work to get rid of than for survivors, it's just a way to get messed up in chases. Thank you, Nancy. You don't want to heal me? I don't feel like running currently because I'll act out in my sprint burst again. Probably take that off next match because I like to run everywhere. You wanna heal me or there we go, thank you. Okay. Oh, be careful. He sees the blood. Okay, he didn't see the blood. Hopefully Nancy doesn't lead him to us. Lead him away. Okay, yeah, you got that. I'll save K real quick. Let's go, go, go. Are we gonna heal here? I guess so. Um, you brought him right back to us. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's not go that way because he's coming this way. He's probably coming after me. Yep, he's gonna keep chasing. Let's see if we can pick Nancy back up while he's fixated on the cave. This could be a. I know he's coming back. Uh, let's say this could be a bad idea to go south, but I'm glad that the decision was made for me now that he came back. Okay, popping gens. Nice, nice. Should probably get healed. That cake wasn't done healing me, but let me see if I can get a quick heal from her. I let the cake get the save. And she just went right back down. Oh my gosh. You see, now that Quentin got a graphical update, they should probably do a graphical update to his uh, icon too, because that Quentin's icon still gives me nightmares. Okay, he's checking the lockers. He doesn't know we're coming. To be honest, Lori should go. Is he alright? Uh, okay, he's backing up slowly. I don't know what he's doing there, but does he see me? Did he see me there? Okay, I'm kind of scared. Uh, I think he went away. We're good. I don't know what that was, but yeah. Oh, you got the save, all right. Let's see if we can find a generator. Where's it coming from though? I hear the music. Oh, he's in there. It's probably not gonna work, but, <sighs> yep. <sighs> Let's go upstairs and see what we got to work with. Because if not much, we should probably head back down. And so it looks like we're going back down anyway. Got those knives. Oh, and that seems that one perk from 
what is it? I forgot what the name of it is, and I did not expect him to go through there. I didn't even know there was an opening there. But that one perk, so when survivors vault the windows, and it blocks the stuff. Like, it blocks the window after they vault it. I forgot what it's called, but I guess it's a hex, hex perk. Because after Lori destroyed the hex, it's not doing anymore. And what's he gonna do? Yeah, you're gonna have to break it, bro. <laughs> There's a pallet right there I could have used. Let's hope I don't run into a dead zone. Actually, there should be a pallet over here. Yes, we're good. Ow. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Nope, oh, that's hook number two. Thank you, Lori. And he's coming back. Let's see who he goes after. Well, I am the obsession, even though I don't have any obsession first, so. Whoa. Is he gonna tunnel me? Oh my gosh. I gotta go, Lori. You throw down the them. Or you can just look around there. Do what you wanna do. Just make sure it doesn't come after me. And I'll see if I can get double healed by these guys. This side of the wall. Boom. Now can you heal me? Thank you. Lori's kind of in the pickle over there. Hopefully she's alright. I wanna get this close because I'm on death hook. I don't wanna get seen, so I'll probably go find a gym. Lori has to go after somebody and unhook them. Or at least get in the chase because she's gone, gone this whole game without getting hooked once, and me and K are both on death hook. Oh, she's getting face camped. Okay, say less. I'm gonna go find a generator. Oh, perfect. It's a breakable wall here though. I do have sprinters, so escaping shouldn't be a problem. Ha! Ah. Now that he's focused on me, he's gonna not chase me and go after the person who's gone hooked. Okay. Oh, my generator finally went off. Perfect. It was, on, it was on all day, and nobody was using the washing machine or the gas. So I don't understand why it was blowing like that. I'm glad it's over. Ooh, done. Now we just gotta escape. Hopefully, we don't have any interruptions. We can make it out here safely. Oh, I opened the gate. Hopefully, this doesn't backfire, but I wonder if he has no way. That's the number one question. Oh, I don't know if he has no wed, but I'm not going to risk if he has Blood Warden. Uh, anyway, Kate's dead, so it doesn't really matter. But this was a nice first match. I, yeah, she's dead. But anyway, GG's, and on to the next one. Bromomento. Nice name. <sighs> indoor maps back-to-back. -back. That's why I only get these indoor maps mainly when I'm recording, but... <sighs> We move. Anyway, I brought in a few meta perks as you can see, just because I didn't really know what else to bring. Plus, I was on that time though. I just instantly joined the game, and I didn't have enough time to choose my perks, so that's one with that. And we're playing Meg. Now I wonder what killer we're gonna run into today. Speak of the devil. As soon as I said the killer, whoa. Okay, my reaction time is atrocious. I gotta focus. We got a nurse in the building, and it's an indoor map. This is gonna be something. And this start. Is not great. Oh, she has an atophobia too. How fun. She's checking lockers. Bro, go somewhere. But Meg finally got out. Now help me. Help me. Uh, we're really about to go a second hook without. You know, I was thinking about bringing that perk. What is it? I think I don't, can't remember if it was Steve or Nancy. I think it's Steve's, but I don't even know how you pronounce this right. But camaraderie. However you pronounce that perk. But the perk where if a survivor is near you in a certain range, when you're in the second state, the timer just pauses. I should have brought that. Because how was I supposed to know that my first hook would probably be my last hook if nobody just saves me? Now, the question is... <sighs> okay. And she's borrowed time, which is cool. She's probably going to tell me now. Perfect. Please go somewhere and kick rocks. Leave me alone. Thank you. What a game. So, we're gonna have to play really stealthy this time. That's just stealthy. Stealthy! Oh my gosh. English is hard. I'm probably not gonna be able to use a decisive, so. So, great use of a perk slot. And she's right over there. Hopefully, she doesn't see me. We gotta find gens, and if she gets close, we gotta dip and hide somewhere. Luckily, I brought Iron Will. I'm glad I brought that perk. But we gotta be very careful how we play if we wanna get the most out of this game, because this was a horrible start. Oh, I was gonna say, let me help that ace, but. Now that I hear the music, I don't know about that, bro. Ace, you got it. I should have brought Bond. Sheesh. Or at least brought, like, something to help me see my teammates. Is that a generator I just ran past? Uh, I... Th no. 
Is it? It is. Okay. But thing is, she's like right there. And he's Ace, go somewhere else, please. I'm injured and on death hook. I'll finish your generator, but just stop bringing her near me. Don't tell me that she lost the chase with Ace. Oh my gosh. She said I didn't see me, but I'm gone. I'm gone. We're running. We're running. Hopefully she didn't. I mean, she had to see my blood trail, right? Or at least the scratches. Okay, we're going to quickly walk now. Hopefully not get seen. We're going to hide behind this corner. <sighs> please, please, please. She's going to see us. 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 <sighs> yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <sighs> well, so much for this game. Drop me, please. Do something. Drop me. Drop me. Drop me. Please give me a chance. Okay, she's not going to do that. I suspect it. What a great game. Disturbed Ward. Finally an outdoor map. Some variety. Good. And the killer's corrupt. So I changed my survivor. Playing Kate. Same parts as last time. But instead, I'm running alert. And we have a trickster. That's what I need. Bad match and then we automatically get a trickster. Anyway. Uh, physicist. Oh my gosh, of course. What was I expecting? Anyway. Um, bef before I was recording, like, when I was loading into the match, I just heard, like, a huge thud upstairs, and apparently the cutting board dropped in the kitchen. I'm glad you guys are here in the middle of the game, because it seems that if one interruption doesn't go, then more interruptions are going to happen. So if I don't have noise from coming from the heater, it's going to come from everywhere else. And yeah, I don't know what that chase was. I'm just talking over it because I know, I know that chase is bad. And I'm the first hook too. You know, I wanted to see what's the whole controversy with Trickster and why everybody's debating if it's a buff or a nerf, but I just don't care about Trickster enough. He's just such a bad killer. Thanks for the help, Steve. Oh, going to kill it right to us. Thanks, Jill. And I'm gone. The corrupt should have ended by now, so I'm going to go back and see if it's going now. There we go. Now we can actually do something. I wonder if the killer is barbecue. I think that might have answered my question. With that, we just got extremely lucky with this find. Well, just gotta keep running. And just hope not to get. Whoa, whoa! How do I get this many cuts when it, I just got hit? Unless it's just a visual bug. Well, there's nothing I can do there. Okay, we're just gonna crawl our way to the pallet. Hopefully, someone. How are we can just crawl away? Yeah, they're over there healing and triple healing or whatever. Let's just go and crawl somewhere. Thanks for the heal, Steve. Get me up, and we're gone. Also, I didn't think about it until now, but I think they might have fixed the console performance this update because I haven't got a lot of major lag spikes like the last update after they added the whole Resident Evil chapter, which I think is great, but still, the fact they let that happen is terrific. Okay, he's chasing Jill. He's right there. So I think we can finish Jim before he gets up. Yeah, we'll be able to finish Jen. Maybe after that we can go after the one I was working before. Okay. Now they're occupied. We can get healed. We we'll finish Jen. Maybe Steve can go and save Jill, and I'll go back on the Jen I was working on before. The trickster came and killed me. Or downed me, I should say. Yeah, we're quite far. Hopefully he doesn't come over here. And of course he does. We'll see him double back. Yes, he is. Let's run the other way because run that other way or just over there doesn't seem to work. So actually, I don't think over here would work either. Let's try to go inside the building. Let's see how that goes. Keep running. Hopefully we don't get hit. Is this light red thing gonna go away after a certain amount of time? Yes, it is. He's gonna have to hit me again with a knife to get it back. Whoa! I just got stuck. I thought something just happened. Maybe ran slow motion, but I just got stuck. Uh, I wouldn't jump down there because I don't have balanced. Um, pallet, pallet. There's one. I don't think that would be smart. Oh shoot. Okay, there's the basement. Whew. I'm getting quite lucky. I don't want to be looking behind me all that stuff because that seems like that's gonna be more of a problem. To actually help me. I'm gonna jump down here. Oh shoot, he ran outside. I didn't even notice. Well, I should have gone to that pallet. Here. And we got adrenaline, so luckily, once we get unhooked, we should be alright. Unless he has no one. 
garbage. I wouldn't even blame him if he had Noah because Tristus is a garbage killer. Oh! That's just spawned right in front of me. Cool. Thank you, Joe. Okay, so I'm gonna open the gate. Now we just gotta find it. I don't think he has Noah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and to the basement real quick, see if I can get an item. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. I'm gonna go and get an item real quick and then I'm gonna escape. Alex Toolbox. I saw that icon change for a bit. That was weird, but I got an Alex Toolbox. Yeah, could've lived without it, but it's better than nothing. And we know where Hatch is, so let's see if we can head over there instead of having to go to the gate. I don't need gates right there, but... Oh, okay, he's just looking at it. Alright, I guess he just gave up. Well, well, that's it for the last game. I ended on a positive note. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. This update is something. I'm glad they got the performance issues fixed. Um, these characters, the new character looks, some are cool, some are alright, some are just weird. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't really ask that a lot, but I want to see what you guys think. Even though this video is probably going to come out later than it should have. But anyway, that's all. I'm Superific, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.